humbled to accept this award, but I only do it on behalf of our 21,000 PG&E employees. Uh, I'm accepting this for anyone who has worn those PG&E blue t-shirts that you saw there that we wear out in our community when we're volunteering. Uh, I accept it on behalf of the people who work in food banks, the employees that uh, have wielded hammers at the uh, Habitat for Humanity builds or have cleaned up parks around the state. The award is for the thousands of employees who have contributed to our annual giving campaign, which over the past decade or so has raised tens of millions of dollars that's gone to schools and nonprofits around Northern and Central California. And it's for all the ways that our employees have shown their commitment to improving the communities where we deliver natural gas and electricity. There's a remarkable spirit of service that's ingrained in our business. It's been a core part of our company for over a century. You know, and when I analyze the root cause of why our employees are so committed to that service, you know, it wasn't that one of my predecessors had it in his uh, annual plan or that a mission statement that was developed. Uh, it really is that our employees, and employees of virtually every utility around the United States, understand the very special relationship that we have with our customers and the communities that we serve. And why else would a lineman climb a 40-foot pole in a rainstorm to deal with 13,000 volt electricity? Or why would one of our gas service technicians jump in a hole to squeeze off a pipe that is spewing gas because a backhoe has, has cut that? Our employees understand that the products that they deliver are essential to the modern world. How do you find that sweet spot where corporate giving is aligned with the expertise that you have developed over the year and also matches up with the needs of the community? We found that uh, our biggest impact is in three areas, investment in the environment, investment in education, and investment in economic and community vitality. They allow us to apply our expertise and skills and contribute in ways that benefit both the company and our state's future at the same time. I'm honored to accept this award on behalf of Cargill, our family owners who have been enormously supportive for soon to be 150 years for the kinds of behaviors for which we're being recognized and for our 142,000 employees around the world. The simple act of helping to provide nutrition through care packages has grown to be something that's more important to the life and the reputation and the brand and the ability of companies to attract the employees that we need. It's about how we behave. Our operations are governed by a formal code of conduct, conduct expressed as guiding principles that we expect all of our businesses and importantly all of our employees to adhere to. So it's not so much what we stand for, it's what we won't stand for that forms the foundation of this culture. We believe that providing access to safe, nutritious, and importantly, affordable food is what we need to and seek to do every day. But just as important is raising our voice and advocating for the policies and the governmental practices that we believe provide the greatest opportunity for the world to feed itself with the smallest environmental impact. We would love in our natural corporate impatience level would say we could do a lot of these supply chains ourselves. They're fundamental to our business, yet we don't have, in all places, the boots on the ground and the influence in communities that CARE can bring to us as a partner. The challenge that the Rural Development Initiative takes on are complex, and so both Cargill and CARE recognize that we have something to bring. 